name is Brody. Right after I finished that time lapse, I ran into some technical issues with my microphone. But we're here now. Today's a specific video for specific people. You read the title, you kind of know what it is. This is how to paint miniatures using AI art. You could use this for multiple different things. It doesn't just have to be for miniatures. And you're not really painting. It's, it's kind of clickbait. Uh, you're more so getting inspiration on what colors to use. First things first, the program's called Stable Diffusion. I will have two links in the description, uh, how to install it and how to install ControlNet. You need both of these. Yeah, so we'll just get into it. Here's Stable Diffusion. So I'll go through some basics and then I'll show you what to do. So top left here are Stable Diffusion checkpoints. I think this you start with this one. Um, you start with this one. Personally, I almost never use it. Um, for today, we're going to go with this Deliberate V2. So here are our positive prompts and here are negative prompts. So if we wanted if we wanted a robot and we want we didn't want the robot to wear a bikini then it'll make a robot with no bikini i mean i don't think it would have done that to begin with but um sampling method i go with ddim um oh i also i'm not an expert on this whatsoever i just play with it and learn things and watch other youtube videos but yeah, so I usually use DDIM. I find some of these these three here give fairly good results, but they do take longer. All right, so we're gonna scroll down. If you installed Control Net, it should be right here. We'll click on that, and we'll find our first image. Here is a female orc from Loot Studios. This is their picture that they display. Uh, so we're going to start with this, and this is the best results we can get with a, the perfect image of it. And then later I'll show you the same model. I took the picture with my phone. All right, from here, these, these are my settings. I go to Canny. I go to Canny. Enable. Low VRAM. Done. I like to preview what the lines look like. Uh... And this is fairly good. I I want them a little skinnier, so I go to annotator re resolution. And uh, yeah, so if we go all the way this way, it'll probably just... Oh, that's not too bad, actually. Yeah, so those are pretty solid lines. Um, we're going to go back a little bit. Preview. Perfect. Actually, yeah, it's kind of a taller picture, so we're going to make the height a little bit bigger. Let's go with, I don't know, 620. And we're going to go to here. This is where I have... My preset styles, I kind of, it's just my go-to, so I just load them. Uh, you can use them if you want. And then I, I put my prompt in the underscore area. So, and then now I'll just describe what I see. Um, orc woman with a big axe. And we just start from here. Or actually, instead of orc woman, female orc. And we'll generate. The first thing I'm generating, so it's going to take a little bit. It kind of recognized that it is a miniature, I think, because of the base. So, I mean, we can always up res this to get some details in there, but it gave her a, a uh, sword here. It gave her a sword in all of them. But the idea is we're not looking to have it exact. I mean, that would be nice, but we're more looking for the color scheme. Here, her skin is white which doesn't help too much. So maybe the next one we'll add green skin and we'll generate some more. In the negative prompt, we could put sword. So she doesn't have a sword because for some reason it keeps giving it to her. It put it made the her clothes green. This is good. Although she's not really wearing anything. This one, so yeah, with this it would be like, okay, you paint her green and almost everything else is a muted gray brown tone uh green clothes sword all right generate four more again this is with the best possible picture this is a render of the model this isn't an actual picture so right after this one we'll do the picture one that's nice that's more accurate to what it actually is uh, she's not she isn't using a sword that's for sure i don't know what the hell that is but 
only her skin's green and nothing else is green. Same. Oh, her her pants are green, but it's a different tone of green. Actually, we're gonna do one more. I'm just gonna generate one though here. Um, there's a weight here for how close you want it to mimic the lines there. So we actually let's not do that much. Let's do 1.5. Okay. I think it's, uh, that's pretty accurate. All right, let's go to the next picture. So down here, we're going to come back down. Cool sentence. We're going to drag the actual picture we took with our phone. Uh, let's, yeah, you see how it's a little less detailed. So we're going to bring this slider down. It, it gets to a point where you might need to open this in like Photoshop and up the contrast so it can see more detail. But we'll attempt something with this. We're gonna try this everything the same, except for this picture is different now. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I'm not quite sure what happened here. Whoa, the axe turned into like a screw. So it got some creative license here. And for some reason, there's a spear going through her calf. This one's cool. I kind of dig that one. That one's pretty rad. All right, so what are we gonna change here? We're gonna go. We're gonna go into Photoshop. So beer back. All right, so we're in. <coughs> we're in Photoshop. Um, you could use any editor, really, except for maybe paint. Um, we're just going to up the contrast. So adjustments, uh, levels, uh, make it, I guess, just make it darker, make it just contrasty. So yeah, that's already a little better. You can tell here that there's no fixing this face. Like, this is what it's supposed to look like even up close and blurry. This is nowhere near that. We're n the face is not gonna be accurate whatsoever. So this picture doesn't have to look good. It's just the program needs to find the lines. So I think that will help. Now let's go back to stable diffusion. And drag this boy in there. Yeah, I can tell that's better. It's still, it's still kind of a mess. But yeah, and you can get some of the background in there like, oh, maybe that's what the spear is, was the, the background. Yeah, so we're going to generate four more. Oh, you can tell the results are way better already because it, it knows what it's looking at now, really. Um, okay, so I think she there's no nipples anywhere, so she's wearing clothes. That That's something that might happen when you have stable diffusion on your computer. It literally makes naked people. Yeah, these colors are good. Like, you can see it chose to put a more reddish brown on this axe. And it's mostly leather everywhere. She has black hair for this one. Yeah, I'm. I'd be happy. Getting, oh, look at the background. Look at the background on that one. It's pretty good. But yeah, like I said, there's you get almost nothing in the face. Um, there's a there's a button here that says restore faces. You can try using that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Green and, and leather brown contrast there. So yeah, let's move on to the next part. I, I haven't tried this. I'm curious to see if it'll work. So um, I am a creature performer in film. Uh, and I have a bust of myself over there with some with some prosthetics on. Uh, I'll get it. I use it to stretch toques. I have a lot of toques that don't fit, and I want to stretch them. So this this is me with some uh, prosthetic cast, some some or other. Um, I want to take a picture of this and see what I can make with it. So be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I took a picture. I upped the contrast in Photoshop again, and it looks pretty yellowish, but that's that whatever. Yeah, here, here's the picture. Um, I wanted these little marks to be shown in the image and uh, the mouth. I hope the carpet doesn't make any lines. So in Control Net, we're going to preview. Oh, okay, so the carpet is making many lines. Let's uh, go up, maybe. Okay, so we're, we're going to get rid of that background. Be right back. Okay, so I just blurred the background. All right, we're going to bring it way down. Huh. I mean, we'll, we'll get something out of this. I know we will. Why did it just stretch out like that? What happened? There we go. That's something. Let's just try it. Um... Let's remove some of this old stuff in here. Uh, man with no eyes. Undead, scary, dying, gory. See what that gives us. Oh, cool. <laughs> Sick. No, that's great. Wow. 
They all have eyes, though. That's the issue. There's not supposed to be any eyes. Um, I mean, that's not an issue. Look at them. They look amazing. Especially, they all look good in their own way. Like, So this is what it turned into, or this is what it's supposed to look like. So we're going to switch to realistic visions and see if that makes real-looking one that might look kind of like that. Oh, scary. Spooky. He has like a like a necromancer cloak on or something. Oh, gave him some teeth. Oh, like a lizard man. That one's cool. Uh, I hope my mic, oh, my microphone might have been peaking this whole time. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, yeah, so that's generally how you do it. Obviously, I'm bump my mic. Obviously, you can look at more tutorials on nitpicky things, but for inspiration, it's it's amazing. It's like it's endless inspiration. I have a AI art Instagram if you want to go check that out. Uh, link in the description. Uh, yeah. Take it off, you hosers. If anyone from Lyrion is watching this, please, please update us more. Even if it's just saying, hello, we're still working on things and look.